it, it's Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk and today I'm going to make a lovely card um, and I'm doing the unusual thing for me which is I'm making a card I'm using more than one stamp set to make the card okay um, I don't normally but I just wanted to show the lovely marble background stamp and then um, the around the corner and the one for all these are very inexpensive stamp sets and you've got a variety of things you know so you can make in it with com with it kind of combination is what i'm trying to say if i can put my teeth in <laughs> with a combination you're going to get a lot of cards out of these sets right that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> So let's get started. So um, I have pre-cut my card. So I've cut my card base to um, four and one eighth by five and three quarters. This is thick whisper white. This is the beautiful granny apple green, and this has been cut to um, just one eighth of an inch shorter. So five and one two three four five eighths by four and then this I've cut a quarter of an inch because I want to be able to see that green I want a nice big border on this layer and this is your stamping layer so this is going to measure three and a half by five and one eighth okay so let's get that um, granny apple green layer on first I think I need some more glue Ah, there we go. Sometimes it just gets like a little bit of a skin over the nozzle and you just have to just nip it off. Um, so we're going to stick that on there, like so. It's a very, very small increment, so the wet glue will help me get that straight. Press that on. It's a lovely shade of green, it's granny apple green one of the new colours okay so that is that bit done so now we're going to concentrate on our stamping layer now I'm going to use the marbled and I'm going to use a slightly lighter shade of green and I'm using sea, uh, soft sea foam okay I'm going to just try not to rock my turbo so this should just give a very subtle, very subtle background. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it doesn't look like, you know, Blackpool front. We want it subtle. <laughs> so there we go. Right, so I'm going to lift my stamp over. And in my wisdom, I've got wooden. I'm thinking it would save me having to mount my block each time. Uh, my stamp each time. I'm still getting used to it. I'm not used to these ones. Oh wow, look at that. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I've not tried it before, can you tell? <laughs> Very often um, when I'm doing these projects, it's the first time I've done them. So there we go, we've got a lovely, lovely um, background there. So that will go on there like so. Now I want to stamp the lady in this one on her bicycle now I was going to stamp with grey granite but I'm wondering now if it's going to show because that is darker than I thought hmm let me think shall I do it in black I might just do it in black I think let me get my memento. I'm going to do her in black because I'm worried that the grey is not going to be dark enough to show over that colour. Right. So let's get her out. And as you can see, I've not used it this one before either. These are all new to me. I got a big massive stash through um, the other day of lots of new sets to show you. Um, all from the new catalogue. Stunning every single one of them. Right, so I'm going to mount her, I'm going to use my grid paper underneath my block to help me get her sort of straight. And then I'm going to, yes, I think I did, I think I made the right choice doing the black. So she's like going to be like a silhouette now. So I'll put you straight. And I'm going to stamp her in the bottom corner. Mm 
it's just where I like it. Okay. And hopefully that will stamp nicely. Oh, that's lovely. Could do it with a little bit more ink in there on the lady, but do you know what? What I can do is if I just get my basic black marker, I can just fill that in, it doesn't matter. Just fill it in a bit. Just colour her in. Make it that bit more dark. If you like, you know, your stamps to be black, 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 black. There we go. Now, had I got my Stamparatus out, I would have merely re-inked and gone again. Um, but I'm quite a lazy crafter and I like to have things that are immediate. <laughs> so there we go, we've fixed that now. So that saves me getting my Stamparatus out and doing it all over again. Now, I think that's a little bit plain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach her, first of all, to my card base and then I'm going to have to add some glitter or some ribbon or something just to pan out that green green on green with green so let's place her in the centre like so let's get her straight lovely very, very quick and simple, doesn't have to be complicated. Now, while I'm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the around the corner. Uh, which stamp shall I have? Which one? Celebrate every victory. What does this one say? Have the best day ever. Hello there, it's your day. Mm. I think I like hello there. Let's stamp that and see what that looks like. Let's have a look. Where is it? Hello there. I'm going to have to make some note cards with this. I like it. Let's have a look. Get that um, lined up on my grid paper so that it's nice and straight. What a lovely corner stamp you could add this to just about, uh, about anything. Oh, photopolymer sticking to my nails. Is that block big enough? Just about. Okay. So we'll use the memento. Make sure I put plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Let me practice stamp because I've not used this stamp before. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? I've over stamped there. Let me get a cloth. Just over stamped slightly because I'm pressing on too hard trying to get the ink on. Okay. Tap, tap, twist. Tap, tap, twist. I am quite heavy handed and you really don't need to be, um, not with the normal stamping up inks you don't. Anyway, this pad, I think I'm going to get a new one because for some reason it's quite dry, even when I've re-inked it. So I'm going to stamp that just on that corner there and fingers crossed, <laughs> literally fingers crossed. There we go. Oh, I like that. That's really lovely. What a nice font. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it over that way a minute because that is going to be wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got no ink on my hands just to give that green a lift. I'm, I'm here again with sequins. Um, I can't put them down. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so let's have some dotted about this card um, to just look super pretty. Um, so we have them on the flowers. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Making it up now. There we go. So a tiny bit of glue where those are meant to be flowers. We're going to change them. And we're going to add some sparkle to this card. Okay. Okay. And I want some extra ones as well. We'll have it floating up in the air like so. So, let's start and add up some sequins. Let me get my... I was going to say, let me get my perky tool and it's in my hand. <laughs> it's in your hand, you nutter. Oh, dear me. 
and we'll pick some of the orangey tone ones as well and that one's nice we'll have that one and a yellow one beautiful another green one and that just totally and utterly transforms that card from what could have dangerously been quite a dull looking card let's have that there with just green which we don't want do we we don't want boring looking cards we want fun cards um, so I'm just going to add more sequins and if you just set it aside that glue will dry and them sequins will not shift okay and it'll look awesome there we go another one take one of these little diddy ones and put it in the flower basket and we've got a really tiny one there that's the other good thing about these little sequins is they're all different sizes can't get that one off it's too it's stuck on get off your slippery little sucker there we go let's see if we can get it on i need a pickup tool really come on don't be naughty don't make my video long <laughs> there we go we'll get there i uh, could do with a little green one there we go that one and they just fit lovely inside that basket i'm really really impressed with that right so let's hurry and do the rest of these now um i want a pinkish one let's have a look that one that's pretty that one there um orange orangey one that one's come off and we'll have what color shall i have there i'll have uh, this little yellow one here look there and this one here it's picking up much easier now and another little green one just there so now she's got a shower of sequins and I think that is a really lovely card and I think the sequins just totally and utterly pull that together. I hope you'll give it a try. Uh, don't remember, don't, don't remember, don't forget your lovely embellishments in the Stampin' Up! catalogue because just them extra little touches can really make all the difference. Don't forget the fantastic background stamps. Um, which, you know, helps us fill up that white space and make our cards something special. Don't forget to go on over to my blog, screenpeermommy.co.uk, for all the sizes and the links to these products. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.